Hey everybody, welcome back. We're going to create a, another image using the tools we know so far in uh, Adobe Illustrator. And we're going to make a snowman again, but we're going to make a different kind, alright? So let's go ahead and go to Letter. Let's keep it Landscape. Let's hit Create. Alright, here we are with our blank canvas. Now, I want to make the last snowman we made. It was a little goofy looking, like kind of like a kid sketch, right? And that's okay. It was just to get some of the basics that we learned um, out of our system. So let's try again. But this time I want to make one more like an icon or something more you'd see like as a logo or a brand for a company or something, okay? So let's start once again with our spheres. And I'm holding down shift to make it a perfect circle. And I want to flip it. I do not want an outline. Not this time. And I do not want a white stroke because that will also show up. So I'm going to take this up here and move it to none. All right. So let's go ahead and take this. And I'm just going to duplicate it because it's easy. Hold down shift to resize it. I'm using my, oops, trying to use my intersect lines to line these. Come on, get line. I'm going to move it away. There we go. Do it again. Option. And once again, hold down Shift to scale it again. Okay, there we go. Eh, it looks a little low. So now, because I don't want to move it and accidentally kind of move it out of alignment, I'm going to use the arrow key top arrow key to move it up. Okay, I can work with this. And I'm keeping it all black and white for now, okay? And maybe for the entirety of this whole thing, because I'm trying to make an icon. And an icon is going to be simplified. So let's go ahead and add a hat, kind of like last time. This time it's going to be all black, though. I'm going to keep with a silhouette here. And that's not centered. There we go. Gonna give it a top hat, of course. Okay, and you can resize it. And let's say this might be a little too long. Eh. Is it okay? And my two objects are now kind of misaligned because I adjusted it. So let's look at another tool that we have not looked at yet. So I'm going to go to Window, and I'm going to go to Align. And here we've got this Align window. Okay, this is very helpful. This allows us to select two objects. We can select three objects. So let's just select these two right now. Did I get it? There we go these two objects, and I'm going to look at my align objects and how do I want them to align? Do I want them to align like this? No. Like that? Of course not. I want them aligned like that. And that is really helpful. And let me get all three of those and I can do them all. But let's just get all of them and align them all. Okay, so the intersect lines are super helpful when we're making objects uh, and just, you know, just to keep it roughly in line. But when we want to line them up, this align window is going to be super helpful. And you can see all the different ways that it's showing you can align them. It can align them um, horizontally or vertically to the top, vertically centered, vertically bottom. Um, you can distribute the objects evenly, which is also super helpful, which we can use. And yeah, there we go. All right, we'll leave this open over here for now. Okay, so here is my snowman. He's all aligned. Let me get, I'm going to hold down shift with a black arrow. And I want to, you know what? We're going to use a Pathfinder tool now. So I'm going to keep that align back behind the Pathfinder. And I want to unite these shapes. So let's, I'm just going to unite, unite these two for now. I do not want to align my, I'm sorry, unite my circle yet. So I'm going to go like that. There we go. And once again, I want to kind of tilt my snowman. It's going to give my icon a little bit of a feeling here. Now, look here. I 
double clicked on it accidentally and it got me into this isolation mode and I want to get out of it I can kind of just click anywhere else double click or you could press those those uh, arrows up there let me do it again all right so here you can also get out of it right here and yeah okay so I'm using my arrows now to kind of place this hat I think looks good and this already is kind of feeling like a decent snowman icon for an icon I do want to simplify things I don't want to uh, add too many details to make it overly complicated so let's see I, sometimes less is better right let's go ahead I think we can unite these circles so I'm gonna go ahead and select those circles here I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Pathfinder tool and unite those as well I'm gonna keep the hat separate still okay so I've got those two objects now and let's see if I can I'm gonna get a polygon and I've got too many sides. I want to hit the down arrow and I want a triangle. I also want to hold down shift so I get it straight. So let's see, I'm just going to go to my black arrow. And now I can elongate this, stretch it a little bit, make it feel a little more like a carrot. And I'm going to rotate it holding shift to keep it aligned. And let's see. I'm going to hold shift again to keep it proportioned when I make it smaller. Sorry, I'm thinking. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Command plus, command plus. And I'm going to look for this widget here. And I think I want to round out this nose. I think it looks a little too harsh. There we go. A little too pointy. I don't know if harsh is the right word. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm feeling this. I'm going to rotate the hat a little more. I think he's coming together. Okay, let's see what else we can add to this thing. I've got my hat, got that circle shape there, and then I got the nose. We don't want to add too much. You can get too busy uh, if we're trying to make, especially if we're trying to make something like an icon or something, you know, in a graphic style. So I'm going to add a circle here but I am going to change it to be a white circle, okay? Because I want to take this and see what it looks like if I add a little more detail to my snowman. Okay, and I've got one circle there for like a snowman representing a coal. I think it's a little too big, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. And let's kind of align it up here. There it is. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste a few more. So let's go ahead and just hit Option, drag some out. And I'm going to kind of drag them a little wonky and not worry about it. Okay? And the reason why is because I want to show you, again, how we can use this Align tool over here. So I'm going to go ahead, go to Align. First, I'm going to center it there. And then I'm going to use my Distribute uh, Objects buttons here and I can align them evenly and yeah there we go the first one worked too these align in different ways but made it nice and even okay and that is good for something like an icon and let me see I think that looks too busy so I want to go ahead and delete one of these too busy for a icon so this three I think will be good and once again I'm gonna select all three and I'm gonna distribute them again that looks a little better. Looks a little more like uh, something we would see on a logo. Let me test out what it would look like if I added one more for an eye. And now I think it's starting to look a little silly. Okay, maybe even the nose could go away. Could I kind of like the nose though. We'll stick the nose out. Okay, and I think that would do it. I think I don't want to add any more. I think arms would make it start looking a little too busy. Scarf wouldn't really show up very well. Again, for a logo, I think this would be just about all the detail I'd want to add. Yeah, we'll call this a done snowman. So, last thing would be my different objects. Now, it depends on how I want to use this, but let's say I want to turn this into a company or whatever, or, you know, use it for something. I'm going to save this version as it is with my different objects separated. So file, save, and we'll call this one snowman. If 
I can spell it right. There we go. Under snowman. That's where I meant to go. Save it. Everything looks good. Okay. And now what I would do to turn this in or use it in some whatever I need to use it as is I would join all these things together. So I'm going to select these three shapes, not the circles for the buttons, okay? Just these three up here. And I'm going to unite them all. Okay? From all together. Okay. So that's united now. So I've got that object and I've still got my three little uh, buttons here. But let's go ahead and select my three buttons. And then the object behind it. Now it's very important which order your layers are in. So I just happen to make it in the correct order here with these buttons uh, behind. So the buttons are on top, these ellipses, and then the uh, snowman's in the bottom. And I'm gonna go to Pathfinder and I'm gonna minus the front. Now I've got one shape, one snowman, one silhouette, everything's attached, I can move it around, it's good to go, hard to mess up. So now what I do is I'm going to save it again. So now I like to call it snowman and I'll add a flat to it. So I know it's one flat object. You can name it however you want. Uh, when it's text, uh, I often use outlined because or I use OL, but because there's no text here, I'll just call it flat and I'll hit save. Okay, now I've got the snowman I can use for whatever I need to. All right, I think that'll do it for this uh, little walkthrough. I just want to do a quick little snowman. Looked a little more clean, a little more something like we'd use in graphic design rather than the kind of rough drawing we did earlier. And I hope you guys got something out of this. And I hope you learned a little bit about the align tool. And I'll see you guys in the next video.